Hello, I'm back. Okay, we just left SummerSlam. We're on our way to Unforgiven now. Now, initially, I wasn't going to do it, have, a, have them have a match at Unforgiven. Uh, ECW was going to sort of be absent, but I thought, you know what? Let's slap a match in there. Uh, and uh, that's why you probably won't see much build up to this. But I'd probably have some promos going into it saying, uh, some stuff. And I'll tell you what, how that's going to come about. Alright, uh, we're going to come in uh, with with all the hype and all that from SummerSlam. Essentially, Shelton's going to be wa wa walking out and you, you would hear the announcers on that say that, well, Shelton, uh, he, he just managed to scrape by a victory. It, it, was, it was so close. Dreamer had him at, at numerous points. And he just uh, didn't, wasn't able to capitalize on them. Uh, so, and we essentially run that back. And we, we sort of say, well, if Dreamer is going to be taking on him again, that'll be it. And um, you, you come back and, uh, and Sheldon's celebrating. He's all scarred and battled up. He's saying he's got to have the night off because, well, he's... Got that in his head. and guess what? <laughs> Heyman says, "No way, you're in a tag team match tonight against, and your tag partner is Mike Knox, but you're taking on the Sandman <laughs> and Dreamer." And he's like, "What? I'm I messed up, man. I can't go into that. I just had an extreme rules match." He says, "All tough. This is the land of the extreme, buddy. You know, yeah, we don't believe in nights off." So, and then we hit the promo and uh, the opening promo and everything. They hit, they hit that. Uh, let the bodies to the floor stuff. Yep. And come in and then we've got a Four Corners match for the number one contendership for the WWE Tag Titles the following week. Guess what? I'm able to do that because guess what? I put some tag teams together. We have Elijah Burke and Matt Stryker. The FBI, Sabu and Rob Van Dam, and Danny During and Roadkill. Uh, the old and this is how it goes down. Uh, this is very hard for uh, probably probably one of the best tag matches that, that WWE would have had at the time. Um, the FBI are eliminated by Elijah. Roadkill pins RVD in a shocker. It's like what? And Matt Stryker pins Danny During. Thus, Elijah Burke and D and Matt Stryker get the match. And guess what? We're, this is probably where, this is about the time Hardcore Holly arrives. Hardcore Holly comes out and it crowds by boo. Dang on, just incredible. Hardcore Holly wins, but Holly wins and makes a speech. She grabs the mic and says, "Hey, of." Heard some people say, uh, people in ECW say, he is not hardcore. And he says, if you want to see hardcore, I'm ready. I should say I'm ready. I'm, I really am step up. And if you don't believe I am, I think it, that's what it's supposed to be. If you don't believe I am, step up. And then we got our main event. Sandman and Dreamer versus Mike Knox and Sean Benjamin. Sean Benjamin probably doesn't do much in this match. He's, he is serious. He's probably messed up after that match. But anyway, so he's he's lays lay on the apron uh, pretty much, and, and uh, yeah, so he doesn't do that much. Thus, Sandman and Dreamer are able to capitalize and get the win over Mike Knox. So essentially, Shelton doesn't even barely get in the ring. He sort of, sort of tags in, does a little stomps on guys, and then tags out. Essentially, that's all he's willing to contribute to this thing. And after the match, he grabs the mic and says, I'm not doing any of this anymore. I'm the champ. I shouldn't have to put up with this crap. Uh, then we come in. All right, August 29th. That took quite a while. WWE Tag Team Titles. Um, Paul London and Brian Kendrick taking on Matt Stryker and Elijah Burke. London and Kendrick managed to get the win. After this match, this is when uh, Paul Heyman co comes uh, comes out, pulls Elijah aside, 
and he uh, talks to him for a bit and then he's like gives him a thumbs up and everything and everyone's like what the heck's that CM Punk and taking on Just Incredible uh, this is advertised as Justin's last match uh, he's going to be stepping away after this and CM Punk gets the win he taps out thus ending Justin's illustrious career for the time being until he shows back up again in I think what one pro wrestling or uh, TNA by that point it was PJ Polo anyway then we have Hardcore Holly taking on Balls and Mahoney uh, during the match though Val Venus comes out interferes costs Balls the match and thus double team him and get and then uh, Balls wins by DQ and he's not happy about that no. and that's that the end of that show Okay, um, Super Crazy and Paul London and Brian Kendrick versus Gregory Helms, Shannon Moore and Psychosis in a six-man explosion. What a way to begin the show. And guess what? Uh, I would probably have um, Gregory Helms get the victory there, pinning Super Crazy. Uh, yeah. Is guess what I'm going with him, and he's the singles champion. I want to put. I want to. I want to put Gregory Helms over. CM Punk versus Mike Knox. Now, in here, I put this as the toughest test, and essentially, we do flashbacks to his other match with Mike Knox, showing that at times it looked like Mike Knox was the guy that was going to stop him. So, thus, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say that he, uh, Mike Knox, is hit to him to. Rob Van Dam, he's Jerry Lint of Rob Van Dam, but no, it's like, uh, it's not like that, but, uh, I, he manages to get the win, though, CM Punk manages to get the win, after the match, Burke and Stryker come out, and this is where they come out, they beat him up, they rough him up really bad, uh, they, um, Burke gets him in the corner, does some boxing punches, and uh, thus echoing his famous um, boxing career so I think they beat him up he's down and out uh, that's when Elijah grabs the mic and says this is the beginning of a new era this is the beginning of the new breed yeah. that's you got the three guys that soon there will be four and one girl because um, Kelly Kelly gets roped into this uh, yeah, and during during this whole thing, we, we've got the debut of DX on ECW. And they're running rough shot. And this is where I take some real fantasy booking. Uh, Extreme Rules, DX versus uh, Rob Van Tam and Sabu. And I had Rob Van Tam and Sabu go over. Uh, I just heard what happened at SummerSlam. <laughs> so guess what? I doubt that that would happen. I would do some tough negotiating, but I would tr I would actually try and do that. But the whole point is to get my brand over. Not I'd do it in a way that it wouldn't really hurt DX that much. But come on, talk about bull. All right, September twelfth. I'm gonna try and get through this because we got some stuff. Oh, okay, it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, Shannon Moore taking on Super Crazy. Moore goes over. Uh, yeah, I know, I can't, if for some reason I'm barren and super crazy, but uh, I really didn't want to. But, uh, yeah, I want to put super crazy into a corner, but I didn't mean to. Uh, Matt Hardy teaming up with Balls Mahoney to take on Veteran Attitude, the new tag team of Hardcore Holly and Val Venus. Holly hits the Alabama Slam, and Venus hits the money shot for the win. Yeah, so... That's that happened. Uh, then we have a ten man tag. <laughs> this one is a little bit more realistic. CM Punk, Sandman, Tommy Dreamer, Al Snow, and Stephen Richards taking on the Spirit Squad, Kenny, Johnny, Mitch, Nikki, and Mikey. 
And guess what? I'm ha uh, I don't care if Stephen Richards has jobbed a thousand times. That team's going over, and it's CM Punk who gets the win, uh, which admittedly is a little bit more, and he makes Mitch submit, and there we go. So we come out of that, and uh, I had a couple ideas what I would do, but uh, we're going in a triple threat. And uh, the way this would come about is during one of those breaks, uh, probably before the DX match, I'd have uh, Heyman announce that it's going to be a triple three-way dance. Uh, Shel Shelton Benjamin versus Tommy Dreamer and Elijah Burke in the main event. Uh, in Not in the main event, because no, I'm not doing that. Wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, in, in the ECW title match at Unforgiven, uh, Dreamer would pin Burke, uh, but right after that, Shelton would low blow, turn around, hit the pay dirt, one, two, three, that's it. That would be how I'd do it, and I would do it, and I'll, admittedly, that would probably be a pretty good match. Um, Dreamer would probably do some stuff and everything, but that, that would be a, a good way to do it. So, that was the road to Unforgiven. We will be back where there will be no mercy.